Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video, itutuloy natin yung ating series on uh, trigonometry. No? Uh, uh, in this video, magsasolve tayo ng isa pang problem, pero medyo kakaiba itong problem na ito kasi wala tayong given na angle. No? So, from the top of a 200-foot uh, building, Miko observes a car 320 feet from from uh, the base of the building. Find the angle of depression. So, this is the car. This is Miko at the top of the building and ito yung line of sight ni Miko. No? So kung um, yung line of sight, angle of depression, tsaka angle of uh, elevation. Na-discuss ko yan sa isang video. No? I think uh, uh, two videos away from here. No? Before. Two videos before this this video. No? Now, um, so ang, ang hinahanap natin dito ay angle of depression. No? So, na-define na natin na ang angle of depression is actually the angle formed by the horizontal, no? kung saan yung observer, ito yung horizontal ng observer. This is the horizontal of the observer. So, the angle of depression is formed by the horizontal and the uh, line of sight below the horizontal. No? Pag sa above the horizontal, ang tawag naman natin ng angle of elevation. So, kung ito, this is the horizontal. Pag nandito si Miko, at ito ang kanyang line of sight, this becomes the, the angle of elevation. But here, uh, ang pinahanap sa atin is this angle, which is the angle of angle of depression. Of depression. Okay. So, um, however, no, uh, Uh, before that, yung height ng building natin is 200, no? 200 feet. And no? the distance, no? from um, the distance of the car from the building, from the base of the building is equal to 300. This is uh, 300 feet. 320. 320. So, dalawa yung given natin, itong dalawang sides. No, medyo kakaiba. This is the first time na dalawa yung dalawang sides yung given natin. No? And ang hinahanap natin yung angle. No? Kung side, itong hinahanap, kung gaano kalayo, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Pero hindi yung side yung, ginagami, uh, yung hinahanap natin, kundi yung angle. Now, um, sabi nyo, siguro sabi nyo wala naman tayong triangle dito. No? But, uh, If you remember your geometry, then uh, you know that the these two angles, no, this, these two are parallel, no, parallel uh, lines or parallel line segments, and this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. No? So meaning, meaning they are equal, no? they are congruent. No? So, um, ibig sabihin kung makuha ko tong angle na to, yung angle of uh, Uh, this angle here, if I can get the measure, I can also get the measure of this, which is, yun ang hinaharap natin dito. So, uh, with respect to this angle, meron tayong given, yung opposite side niya, at saka yung adjacent side niya. So, if we let this P, Q, and R, no? and this is S, no? some point here, then you know that the angle S, Q, P, is congruent to angle uh, QPR. So, so, tangent ang gagamitin natin dito kasi bakit tangent? Ang given ay opposite sa adjacent. No? So, towa yan sa sokatowa. Sokatowa. So, since ang given with respect to angle P ay adjacent side and the opposite side, therefore, tangent yung gagamitin natin. So, tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. No? Maybe sa to uh, So, tangent theta is equal to the opposite side, which is 200 feet over uh, 320. So, pwede natin yan i-compute, no? Uh, 200 200 divided by 320 okay. 
okay so 0.625 so tangent theta tangent theta is equal to 0 0.625 so, ano yung value ng theta natin? Ano yung angle na yun? So, pag ganito, uh, pag uh, ano yung angle, actually, ano ba yung angle na ang tangent niya ito? So, gagamitin natin dyan is yung tinatawag na inverse of tangent, no? Meaning, theta is equal to the inverse of the inverse tangent of 0 0.625. So, paano yung gagawin sa calculator? No? Pag meron kayong calculator, uh, of course, hindi ko na sabi kanina, but your calculator has to be in degree mode, no? So, yung mga scientific calculator nyo na ginagamit, just be sure na naka-degree. Tatlo yan, di ba? Yung gradient, yung uh, radian, saka yung degree. So, dapat naka-degree siya. So, sorry. Yeah. Bakit ko yung nalanggal? So, 200 divided by 320. Okay. So, 0.625. And if you want to, to find the inverse of tangent, no? may, may uh, bottom kayo dyan na second, no? Or, yan. Hanapin nyo yung second na bottom, or I'm not sure kung merong mga inverse na bottom, no? Uh, I think in some cal calculators meron. So, just press that. At pag nakita nyo na itong uh, tangent, uh, the inverse tangent, no? Then just press that. So, as you can see, 32, approximately 32 feet. Uh, sorry, 30, not 32 feet, but 32 degrees kasi angle minahanap natin. So, theta is approximately 30. Is it 32 or 30? 32 degrees. No? 32 degrees. No? Okay. So, ito yung sukat ng angle P, no? Which is 32 degrees. Which means that 32 degrees. Which means that this angle is also 32. Approximately 32 degrees. No? So, pag yun, pag uh, dalawang numbers yung given, you have to use the the inverse uh, tangent o kung ano man yan. Kung kayo ko sign may gagamitin yung inverse ko sign or sign inverse sign no? para makuha niya yung uh, value no? that's it I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan din sa video na to uh, invite ko kayo sa Facebook page natin at syempre sa ating YouTube channel subscribe kayo no? dahil marami pa tayong i-upload na videos okay uh, maraming salamat see you in the next tutorial